What's up, YouTube? Dream Killer coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the Warcraft movie. Now, I just want to point out that um, the Warcraft movie has already uh, been out for a couple of days now, so it's still a little bit fresh and new. So that's why I want to put out this will be a spoiler free video. No spoilers, nothing that will ruin the movie for you, but I do recommend highly that you go see this movie now. And for anyone, you know, who wants to be spoiled, who wants to know what's going on, you know, um, I'll put down links in the description to um, a couple people in, who I subscribe to who have done their reviews that, you know, pretty much say what's going on. So, yeah, spoiler-free video. So, uh, I'm just basically saying my th how I thought the movie was and uh, also talk about, you know, what the movie inspired me to do that I've been putting off doing for a very long time. So, without further ado, let's get started. Um, let's just start by saying that this movie is very surprisingly good. This film was not as bad as I was um, thought it was going to be. Everyone was speculating, you know, and you know, like me and other people, we've been burned time and time again by video game movies being so bad that, you know, this was no, this was no exception. So, me, among other people, were coming into this with very low expectations. But at the end of the day, Warcraft fans and non-Warcraft fans were genuinely pleased. Critics, not so much. But um, let me just put this out here. This is not the first time that critics, in my opinion, have been wrong. I do not listen to critics anymore. I stopped listening to critics a very long time ago. Most of the time, movies I go to see where critics, you know, bash it, I end up liking them. Meanwhile, on the uh, opposite end, you know, critics who praise certain movies, I can't stand them. So at the end of the day, <sighs> reviewers and critics alike don't really know what they're talking about anymore. They don't really, they don't really understand pop culture these days because they're kind of living in that little bubble of whatever you want to call it. That being said, I did not listen to the critics. I went into this, even though I had low expectations, I did was looking forward to this movie. And at the end of the movie, I was thoroughly thrilled. I enjoyed every single minute of it. The writing, while stereotypical, was really done well. The CGI for the orcs and the whatnot brings to life uh, the Warcraft that fans love, even though at some points the CGI was kind of hit or miss. And, again, I'm trying not to spoil this for you, but, you know, story-wise... This does lead to the fact that there are going to be more movies within this universe. And, you know, I look forward to it. At the end of the day, this was the genuinely really good video game movie that I was hoping to finally see. And with, with the Assassin's Creed movie coming out pretty soon, I hope that this train keeps on moving forward with greatness. Now, that basically is that it. Um, that's what I... I that's all I can say. The movie was great, and I highly recommend that you see it. This is also coming from a person who really is not a fan of War World of Warcraft or Warcraft. Never played the games, never played the RTS games, never played that lot. Which also brings me to this another other point. Um, you will find out when you order your ticket, you will be granted with a copy for a voucher that gives you a free copy of the game. Now, for people who are fans of World of Warcraft, you know, this doesn't really apply to them because they already have the game, they've already played it, and whatnot. But this is mostly for the people who are coming in as non-World of Warcraft fans, like myself. And at first I didn't think the rumor was true about the free voucher, but then when I got it, I'm like, you know what? This has given me an opportunity to do something I have never done before in my life, which was play World of Warcraft. And seeing as how much I endured the movie, I'm like, you know what? I like this universe. It's got some potential. Maybe if I start playing the game, I'll understand it more. So down, I entered the code, got my free game, downloaded it onto my computer, and I love the ever-loving shit out of it. I cannot believe I start, did not start playing World of Warcraft a long time ago. 
Now, granted, I've already been playing for a little bit, so, you know, I'm only starting to know very little, but I I have no doubt in my mind that at the end of the day, this will become a MMO that I start to like. This is really the only MMO i played outside RuneScape, because RuneScape was my only MMO, so I'm expanding my, my horizons. And also, this also inspired me to download a DOSBox emulator so I can play the original Warcraft game, because that's basically the only way you can play the original Warcraft game, although you could buy the PS1 version, although that thing is god-awful expensive. So, I just wanted to say thank you, Warcraft movie, for getting me into the world that known as World of Warcraft. That, that, was, that, was, that was the name, but I don't care. <laughs> Thank you, movie, for getting me into this universe. Anyone that still has doubts in their mind whether or not they should go see this movie, don't have doubts anymore. Believe me and believe the other other people on YouTube who have given this movie a pretty good um, review of it. They are truthful and so am I. Go see this movie. You will not be disappointed. And who knows, if you are a non-fan going to see this movie, you might become a fan. You might start playing World of Warcraft like I did. That's it. That's all I got to say about that. Now, before I end this video, um, I just want to make a little mini announcement. Um, throughout the week of E3, which is tomorrow, by the way, day one of E3 starts tomorrow. I cannot fucking believe that. But throughout the week of E3, I will be giving my thoughts on everything that goes around during E3. Every single announcement, you will see a video comp compilating everything that was announced. Um, also... I know that my Let's Play for Thief for Part 3 is <laughs> coming in really late. I'm doing my best to make sure Part 3 comes out as soon as it can. It's just I've been busy with personal stuff. That's it. That's all the announcements I got to say. Thank you all for watching. And as always, like the video. Uh, like it because my channel grows because of it. And comments on the YouTube comment box because I always look forward to your comments. And subscribe, because as always, I have many more videos to come like this. I'm Dream Killer. Gamers keep on gaming.